All right, we're gonna tie a pheasant tail nymph. We're using a TMC 3761 in size 12 here with a 1 8 inch gold brass bead from Cyclops and Wopsy. Uh, we got a little bit of lead wraps to keep the, the bead in there. And we're gonna start our thread right behind the wire. And we're gonna build up a little thread dam here so that the wire's not jumping around. All right, trim the excess. Then we're gonna work our thread back to the barb, touching wraps, try not to build up too much here. Save that for a little bit later. First, we're gonna use pheasant tail, and we're just gonna take a few fibers off of this feather. I usually use about five for this size fly, and we're gonna cut those at the base We're going to measure the tips against the shank so they're about the same length of the shank. Transfer that measurement to our left hand. And I'm going to use a pin trap here. Do about two of those. Okay, here we're using some copper wire. This is small. You can also use brassy for this size fly. Um, we're going to tie this in at the exact same spot we tied the feather in. Now see when I pull the tension down, see how those splay out a little bit? And I'm only going to use one, two wraps on the near side of the hook towards me. I'm going to fold these feathers back. I'm going to wrap in front. I'm going to work this wire up the shank. To the lead wraps okay and then we need to fill in some of this gap and build a little bit of a taper looks great now I can start wrapping my pheasant tail and sometimes you just gotta make sure it stays together Otherwise, it will hop all over your hook shank. And here I'm going to use a technique where I actually save my work by just placing my finger on top of the shank as I work my right hand around my bobbin and my thread. And that saves you a lot of frustration and pain as you work forward. We're going to tie that off. Trim your feathers. Then we're going to counter wrap this wire, so working underneath and towards you, if you will. I'm going to space those out, and I'll end up with about four wraps before I tie that off. Three, great. Now we're gonna move the nozzle of your bobbin up and simply helicopter that wire off close. Wonderful. At this point, we're gonna go back to the pheasant tails. We're gonna use, again, about five or six. You can use more if you like. And we're gonna create the wing case for this fly. So for me, now we're doing opposite of what the tails were before. So we're going to keep the tips pointed towards the bead. But I'm not worried about the tips. We're just, we just want those overlapping the bead. I'm going to take a loose wrap and wrap back to where I tied everything off. I'm going to trim those tips. Great. Next, we need to use a little bit of peacock curl. I'm going to grab probably three or four of these. Um, you can use a lot less if you're tying smaller flies, but this fills in the gaps really quick. 
Now there's white tips at the end, at one end and non-white tips at the other end. We want these tips up here without the white. I'm going to tie those in so they overlap the bead again and that I have ample space to tie those off. I'm going to trim those up. Don't worry about this building up too much. We're going to clean it up at the very end. Work your thread right up to the bead. At this point, I take my peacock curl vertical. I give it a small little twist. And we're going to wrap that right up to the bead where we're going to tie it off. Once you make sure that's secure, you can trim it off, get rid of it. Now we're just going to fold this remaining pheasant tail over the back. And that's going to create our wing case. I'm going to wrap two on top of that. And you can use a little bit of thread tension here so it seats down into that gap created by the bead. And two in front. And I like a third there. And then snip that. Grab your whip finish tool. Do three to five turns of whip finish. Make sure your thread is nice and seated in there. Trim that. And you've tied a pheasant tail nymph. Now there's a bunch of different variations. We can add flash to the back. You can use ice dub. You can use all sorts of materials built on this platform. But this is a wonderful mayfly nymph imitation that's going to catch you a lot of fish.